All right, it's April 5th, 2012. I'm Chevy, and you're gonna watch me uh, uncover a part of my childhood. Roughly 20 some years ago, I buried a time capsule in my parents' backyard, and I left myself a note um, telling me where to find it. Um, I don't know what's in this time capsule. I remember there being a hat in there, and I believe it's a lunchbox, so hopefully it survived this trek but we're gonna find out today. Uh, I posted this on reddit.com a couple days ago, which was a big mistake because I wasn't aware I was going to get the amount of uh, traffic that I got, and now people are asking to be a part of this, so that's why we're filming this video. I have a little bit of a crew here to help me out today, and hopefully we can find it, but I haven't even opened my letter yet because uh, I didn't want to be accused of anything. Some people were questioning the validity of this because the paper's not yellowed. I don't know what to tell you. I promise you this is 20 year old paper and if anybody wants samples of it to carbon date or do <laughs> gas chromatograph <laughs> testing, I'll gladly mail you samples. As you can see, that's masking tape. That's not scotch tape. And, and masking tape's normally not translucent, so I, I don't know. Maybe this is a miracle of modern fiber technology. But we're going to open it and see what it says and then we're going to go search for this thing. So here goes nothing. Yes, Daddy's opening it, honey. History in the yeah, right? The internet wants to know what's in the envelope. Looks like I hand drew a map. <laughs> no note at all. Wow. This is literally a map of my parents' house. <laughs> That's all it is. And a little X pointing to the back corner of their lot which um, is right where I thought this process would end uh, I find it amusing that I had to write my parents address and draw a map of my parents house like I would forget where that's at uh, <laughs> so there appears to be no actual note but yet an X marks the spot treasure map uh, you want to see my my beautiful handwriting that everybody says was uh, too good for a 12 year old or whatever. Here it is. You know, some street names. But here's the map. So thank God we have a metal detector because I don't know how the heck else we're going to find this thing. But let's uh, start digging, I guess. If you've never seen hilly countryside. Thank God you have a metal detector, Mike. I drew a map. <laughs> this was a tree where I had plenty of playhouses, and I believe it's buried behind this tree somewhere. So we're going to attempt to do this. Who wants to hold the camera? Me. You want to hold the camera? That's my daughter, everybody. Me. Keely wants to, if you hold the camera, how are you going to see what's going on? Just through the camera? I think it's down here. Keely, you're in the video. That's okay. Keely, move. And it was just a lunchbox, so it might not be there anymore. This thing's great at finding old junk, so never anything of value. Maybe this is. Like test it with? <laughs> Trying to make sure the metal detector works. How deep did he say that your eight year old self buried this thing? I don't know. A couple feet? No, I'm just kidding. Maybe a foot? I'm pretty positive it was not that far over. I think there's a dead cat buried over there, though. There's something. That might be sewer lines. So that's one possible dig spot. There's no X, Chevy. I didn't leave myself an X. I don't 
think it was this far over, but who knows. <laughs> You guide me. Oh, no. I don't remember. If I remember, you just dug it up already. How deep will that thing like work? Okay. I just borrowed the thing. I'm not a stranger on your dad's. I'm, I'm like Nicolas Cage. I can play one on TV, but not like this way. There's something. What do you think? I think that that's more like where I would have put it. Well, I gotta like the spade. Look at the spade. It's a big shovel. <laughs> What'd you say? I, I know the cat is buried over in that direction. Where were we? Like, <laughs> 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 My dad's gonna do this. <laughs> like, what did you do to my yard? I had to find it, Dad. The internet made me do it. The internet made me. I was okay with leaving it. Put your do dad in there again. I got cicadas. Nothing? Whatever is metal is still in that location. What can you dig him for? Trying to find this capsule, honey. Trying to find the lunchbox you buried 20 years Trying to find the lunchbox. What kind of a lunchbox was it? I think it was just a hazard. <laughs> that would be amazing. Wouldn't it? I remember having a Dukes of Hazard lunchbox and I don't still have it. We can like edit this footage, right? Did we lose our our beeper? Backhoe in here? <laughs> I think your dad would really be upset. I know it's underneath his hedge. I'm, I just remember burying it back here somewhere. We only have so many feet of hedge to dig. Yeah. So. <laughs> right? Come over this way, son. Let's see. Supposedly. Kind of sweet. Sometimes. Hmm? I tried probing this with welding rods one time. Last year. Whatever called this. What was the other thing over here? I used to be able to run through the hedges right here. So that would make sense. I've been told that there was once a box and Geraldo opened it on TV and it was nothing but some old paper. Yeah, it was Al Capone's vault. They tore out a wall. Stay, I was like maybe six. 
stayed up till 2 in the morning. It was all live TV. Uh oh. That's a rock. It was in here. Where was the other place? Over here. <laughs> At least the ground's soft. We're getting close to the cat. You hold it then. Interesting <laughs> <laughs> dog sound. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you find it? Well, this might be the cat. Oh. Well, let me put, <laughs> let me put the... It's metal. I don't know if you would have... Buried a cat? In metal. No, she was buried in a shoebox wrapped in a... In a blanket or a... Or a, um... That's a lunchbox. We found it! I think. Don't go... Proclaiming oh, success to the internet sorry. yet. It's definitely a lunchbox because I could see it rusted. Oh, you know what was funny? I said it was probably a dead cat. In... <laughs> All right, here we are. The internet would hate you. What for do you that. want to say? I don't know. Oh. I want to see this thing. So tell me you found the lunchbox. I do not remember wrapping it in duct tape. We were smart. But it would appear that we have found the lunchbox. Are we, are we supposed to have like archaeology brushes? <laughs> yeah. Get out, Dad. Uh, we're gonna just keep digging until I get it out. Hmm. And hopefully, since I had the wherewithal to wrap it in duct tape, I managed to wrap everything inside properly too. Your dad is going to have a conniption. Yeah, he does that. That's kind of his deal. This is like my uh, my one chance at archaeology. You know, people accuse me of dressing like Indy. That's like the lunchbox. Like Mr. Dr. Grant. I hear the lunchbox. You hear the lunchbox? Yeah. I hear the lunchbox. I think so, honey. I think that's it. We still got to get it out of the ground. True enough. The lid was rusted away. <laughs> Are you like getting pictures of this too? I am. Oh. I like stills. Yeah. Yes, I am. Oh, he is. I see the own spot. God forbid we we don't pull through for the internet and develop a mommy, complete mommy. view well, it is ready. of what went on here today. Hold it. Um, and hold it with mommy, okay? No. No. Just no. wait a little bit, honey. Wait, honey. I'm gonna hold the camera. Can we know? I need like a gardening shovel to have. Yeah. What well, that is. It. <laughs> yep. I duct taped it. Such a dork. I was a dork man. Here I am digging it up on camera. 20 years ago, I didn't even know that digital cameras would exist one day. It's a lunchbox. Dukes of Hazard for sure. <laughs> there is no denying that that was a Dukes of Hazard lunchbox. Oh yes, I can see the General Lee on it right there. Hold it still. Oh, I got blurred. It's only boss hog on it. We'll see. The duct tape might have preserved 
All right. Do we want to do this down here or go up on the porch? Let's or? go up on the porch. Up on the porch. There's Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> there's like water running out of it. It's okay. <laughs> I hope there's something even remotely recognizable in here. You know, twenty-year-old duct tape. Is there was there asbestos in twenty-year-old duct tape? So I'm pretty sure I just breathed in. Duct tape fibers. <laughs> it's pretty brittle. Well, at the very least, you got yourself a near mint <laughs> Dukes of Hazard lunchbox. Thank God you had a metal detector because this was nowhere near where I would have started digging. <laughs> I noticed, you know, where the metal detector went off first. No, it's over here. That's not where it is, but the metal detector went off. How much do you think Pawn Stars would give me for this? <laughs> I mean, I just pulled it's Duke's face off, but, you know. Boss Hog. You can kind of see Daisy under there. I can see Boss Hog right there. Oh, he yes. He is the most clear of all the characters. I can't see Daisy. Nice. You can't see Daisy. You can see the, uh, the gas station here. Unknown the car. You can make that out pretty well. Hold on. Let's go some more. <laughs> What's in this little spot? There's the back half of the, uh, generally. What's in the lunchbox? Yeah. I don't know. You want to find out? Yeah. Yes. I have no yeah. idea what's in the lunchbox. It's probably all rotten, whatever it is. Looks like you put it in a plastic bag. It is actually in a Ziploc bag. And that is really smart. Oh, see? See, you didn't give your eight-year-old self enough credit. Well, I, it does, I don't think it mattered, but you know, <laughs> oh. I think the, the the plastic bag is also compromised. But I want to see. Yeah, definitely compromised. This is what twenty years of uh, rot looks like on the inside of a lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Okay, I don't even mm. need to open that to see, like, mm. there's the bill of the hat, I remember, there's a hat. with no hat attached to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's disappointing. This was my Yankees hat. This actually came from Yankee Stadium. And I wish it was still together because it's set in their window. And you know how they fold hats? <laughs> The front half of this hat was completely faded to like a light blue and the back was normal Yankees color. <laughs> I do remember what that was. Go Yankees. This is a picture of me and my dad and my sister and my mom. I will see. I was down here with my face removed. It's just like Back to the Future. I know, right? They're disappearing. Huh. So Ziploc bags do not stand the test of time, but this did. Uh oh! Oh my God! What did I do that? Don Mattingly. <laughs> what is that? This is a baseball card from my hero Don Mattingly. He was my favorite baseball player ever. He was a first baseman for the Yankees. I had his rookie card, and this, this thankfully is not his rookie card, even though it's not worth anything anymore. This is his '91 Don Russ. It's a little bit wet. <laughs> More than one, or did it just come There apart? is a oh. bunch of Don Mattingly's in there. I see a 90 Don oh, Ross. I hey, see... Baby, here, we're going to try and slide these out without total... Let's just do this. I think this plastic is brittle enough. Maybe not. I'll get my knife out as soon as I wipe my hands off. I have nothing to wipe my hands on. Yeah, screw it. Let's just go for it. These pants need washed anyway. More work for me. Yeah. And of course, I carry a Swiss Army knife, you know, because MacGyver wouldn't have it any other way. Let's see if we can open this. Oh man, they're just like falling apart. I was a bit of a Yankees fan, I think. He's the manager of the Dodgers, if you cared. I know. I heard. Don Mattingly, 91 Don Russ. A tops. Oh, that's a, these that's might a, dry out and be usable. I could still stick these in my bicycles, folks. That's right there. Is it 87? Yes, it is. 
or is it 89? No, it's 87. This is 87. Good call. Mm. Pretty wood border. Yeah. I don't remember. 90 clear. Oh, and what is this back one? 90 Donruss. That was my favorite. I love that pose. I love that pose. These will actually dry, I think. <laughs> I'll keep those for a while. Maybe I'll rebury them. <laughs> so I guess that's the remnants of uh, hat fiber after 21 years of soaking underwater. I want to see. I didn't leave myself a note or anything. Oh, you know. Well, yeah. if you did, it's gone. Yeah. A picture of my parents and me and my sister. I want to see. Huh. You want to see what, honey? The How? pictures? You can come up here and look. Well, I would definitely say that the crown jewel of that collection is the Dukes of Hazzard lunchbox. Absolutely. This is going to the Pawn Stars <laughs> very well, soon. I mean, how many times do you get a Dukes of Hazzard lunchbox that's been buried for 20 some years? I didn't leave myself a date on my letter, did I? So I actually, it might have been longer than 20 years ago. Well, it couldn't have. No, it had to have been 92. Yeah, I had a 91 Don Russ, so it had to have been 92, 93, something like that. One size fits all, official league gear. Put it on. No, <laughs> I don't do baseball hats anymore. Oh. So you how can do still you see the Yankee logo, though, if you like get the lighting just right. Oh, true enough, yeah. It was the standard blue hat. Okay, honey, hold on. Surprisingly, this doesn't stink. You know what I mean? It just smells <laughs> like dirt. It's been reclaimed by the earth. How many days now? So I guess that's it, huh? How many days? You can dig all you want, honey. Um, that's my childhood in a box, apparently. I like the Dukes of Hazard. I like MacGyver, and I like Don Mattingly. Uh, I had assumed I had put some different treasures in there for myself but oh well apparently I should have dug it up earlier Ziploc bags do not stand the test of time so thanks for watching <laughs>